All right, so check this out, guys. Launch done sent me another scanner. This is going to be a Nissan specific. Now, they do offer um, different models as well for uh, CDJR. They offer for BMW, Honda, Acura. Uh, they do offer for all types of uh, brands. Okay, this one specific is for Nissan. Since I'm real big on Nissan and I work only on Nissan, I got the Nissan one. Uh, so we're gonna go through it and like I said if y'all like this man uh, Check out my link down below. It is an affiliate link once you use that link and you go to this one If you need a different brand Just go ahead and and look for that brand underneath there might be a related one uh, And check this out. This is the updated version This is the tablet type not like the other one that was uh, The long skinny one, you know what I'm talking about so we're gonna crack this open. I haven't looked, taken a look at it, and uh, we'll see what this one's about. All right, so as we can see, this is a Creator Elite V 2.0, version 2.0, OBD2. It does have the mall in it. Uh, it does graphing, does a report, DTC codes, diagnostic feedback. You are able to upgrade it, and it is multilingual. You can s select multiple languages. Now, what I get from this right here, launch X430. That tells me it's using the X431 softwares. So let's crack her open, like I said earlier. Okay, so one thing I do notice right off the rip is that it is using a separate cable. The other one had a cable, uh, the diagnostic cable, permanently connected to the to the tablet. Also, taking a look up here, it does, appears we do have a power button. So let's fire it up. Oh, okay. The other one, it didn't have an internal battery. It had to stay plugged in at all times in order to use this. Now, this does have what, a four-inch screen, um, so it's not too big. It's not too small. But I mean, what do you expect out of a hundred and some odd dollars? There's a Black Friday sale going on, so make sure y'all cop that. That's not a Nissan right there. All right, let's start it up. Let me set it up, and I'll get back to y'all. So after setting up the Wi-Fi and everything, as y'all can see, we are connected. Wi-Fi up in the corner. We do have 97% battery. Normally these launch scan tools, um, they do very good on battery. Uh, I can leave it for days and days just idling and and it, it works out. So let's go ahead and update the whole tool before even using it. And we'll wait for that to happen. One thing I do want to point out, notice it does have other models or other makes. So, like I said, this is expandable beyond just Nissan. It's just this one offers Nissan fully unlocked. No upgrade. Well, you got to update it, but uh, no, necessary, no necessity. No purchase updates required on this one. It's fully unlocked forever. And when updating, make sure you're connected to good internet. This is horrible. And finally, look at the time. This thing took forever to update. Hit OK. And let's get to it. All right, so when hooking this up, you know, you go, you do an auto detect. It'll pull up the VIN. Does this cool little scroll. Then we'll confirm the VIN once we found the VIN. Now, one of my things is being able to scan anything uh, newer within the past few years apparently this Ultima is capable and I still don't know about the rogue though. have not tested that so right here we're just gonna run a health report normally I do one system so it'll go through and it'll scan every module as y'all see no faults it's scanning it's actually scanning pretty dang quickly uh, but again it's pulling up no fault codes whatsoever which we have no faults so here we have a diag report everything is pulling up normal if anything had a DTC it would say DTC detected 
like I said, everything is coming out a okay. Now you can uh, export this. You can share it, share it with the customer. It prints out a whole um, dyad report or on all scan, and uh, customers really appreciate something like that. And it's good for yourself too. And then we can see right here, everything checks green. If there was stuff that I wanted to clear, I would just hit clear codes. Okay, I had to find it. Okay, so it's before you do the, the bin select or whatever. Common special functions. Ignition switch is on. So here's where you get all your functions that we can do with Nissan. Oil service light, brake pad replacement, TPMS, battery matching, ABS, regen, injector coating, throttle valve learning, steering angle reset, level calibration, seat calibration, adaptive gearbox, window calibration so you get all these relearns with this little package right here now depending on the vehicle it may or may not have it depending on the model it may or may not have it um, so it, this is gonna be across the board so it just depends on the vehicle itself whether it has these functions or not whether you can um, either relearn it and or uh, Do your bi-directional um, controlling so like I said this is a neat little scan tool uh, for 130 bucks I think right now with the discount Black Friday sale and all that they do offer different uh, for different models or for different makes actually so they have Ford they have Honda Acura they have uh, BMW they have Mercedes they have Volvo they have uh, you, uh, you know, it, it's endless. Okay, as long as there's a, a manufacturer, they have this. So all you got to do is click on my link down below, and choose the manufacturer you want to go with. Um, now, again, like I said, I believe it is 100% upgrade free, unless you buy the other makes and models. Then you have to purchase those. Uh, so if we go to mall, of course. Let's see what the price point is on that. So if I wanted to buy GM, okay, GM, Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, $3, where was it? $3.20 a month, same for Chrysler. It's like $40 a year. So it's not too bad. So it gives you unlimited access pretty much um, unless you have to use like auto off, then of course that differs. But again, check that out. Oh. Is an updated one, the one before, the one that I did what a year ago, two years ago. It would not stand alone by itself, meaning it needed a power source in order to turn on. It did not have Wi Fi and stuff like that. This one does. This does do key programming, so that's a big plus for me. I love when they do key programming. The screen is a little bit more clear on this one, and it is touch screen, so I do, I do enjoy touch screen a lot. So if y'all like this, like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn post notification bells on so you don't miss another upload. And we are out of here. Deuce. Oh, one of the things I did forget to mention. Um, when you're at your auto diagnose or auto detect screen, you do have your uh, models right here. So you see that American, I have none, have none. Uh, Asian, we have an Infinity Nissan GTR. And uh, that's about it. And it gives you your history of what you scanned. So again, that is pretty neat. That way you don't lose any of your information. Right there. Oxidation on the drop bell. And do a video on this. All right, so this is right. They did not approve these. Is there sufficient pressure for them? Well, I got a whole bunch of parts right there. And then I bought this one because it was a special edition one time.